This video continues with the addition of circulating returns so we can simulate our circulating dwarfs. So we've run our, in the previous video, we ran in our pipe runs for the hot water. What we need to do now is put what we call a circulating tap off point in. So this is the point at which we're tapping off to keep our dead legs to a minimum. So ordinarily, we'd probably position it at the end of this pipe run here. So to do that, we go to the insert menu and we select circulating tap off point, circulating tap off. Click on the bend of the pipe there and that puts a symbol in representing the circulating tap off point. Again, this command is active all the time. So if we had other branches and other parts of the layout, we would continue. In this case, we're only doing one. So I press escape to cancel the command. I then insert, insert my circulating returns. We can see on the hot menu here, we have the, the returns option. Click once on the pipe option. This then gives me the height control box. I then click on the little blob in the middle of that symbol with one click and then start routing my return pipe back following the flow pipe. I can then run in my return exit point. And then when I come in display calculate, hot water, and that size is my return pipe. To look at the pump duty on the return system, we go to the display summary, and that gives you the pump duty. Now obviously this is a very small system, so really the system is such that you wouldn't really get much of uh, an issue here. You're only getting 0 0.03 kilograms a second. Um, two and a half pascals, and you're only getting a piping emission of just over 100 watts. Now, what we can do to demonstrate the flow rates, we can go into the various pipes, and you can see here, I could strip off the insulation. If I increase the emission from the pipe work by stripping off all the insulation, those, those flow rates will change. Pipe type. Insulation type can be changed and got rid of. That will induce a flow rate based on the pipe emissions. Do the same on this run. Get rid of the insulation type. Display, calculate, hot water, and then summary. So you can see there's a vast difference now. We've gone from 100 watts to 849 watts. And we're going, we've got over pressure drop now of 0.566 kPa as opposed to 2.5. So you can see the effect of trying to maintain that delta P of 10 degrees it's increasing the flow rate. So that is how you basically put together a circulating return system.